checking into the hotel, you feel it, you know, and, and the, the individuals that I checked in with, they're, they're excited as well. So you definitely feel it with everybody around the city. Matthew Williams and his nine-year-old son, Junior, caught Timberwolves fever, touching down in Minneapolis for the very first time earlier Wednesday. Who excites you the most on this team? Anthony Edwards. Here he comes, and there he goes. What do you like about him? He dumps on people. <laughs> We caught up with the pair inside a hopping Wolves fan merchandise shop at Target Center hours before game one tip off of the Western Conference Finals. Shirts, hats, anything with Ant's name on it flying off the shelves. John Russell showed up early in search of tickets. Okay, ask what are you willing to spend? Uh, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars. Russell, a downtown Minneapolis resident, got lucky. He's going tonight, riding high. <laughs> It's just exciting to see everybody get downtown, to see uh, national media focused on downtown in a good light again. Here we go! Meantime, outside the arena, Mayor Jacob Fry assisted a city crew in hanging a Wolves-themed First Avenue sign. The city going all in on this team that hasn't reached these heights in 20 years. And this city's biggest cheerleader has absolutely no doubt that the Wolves playoff run is going to have a giant positive impact on downtown as the basketball world now descends on Minneapolis. I think the message for everybody is bring your family, bring your friends, bring your co-workers, bring your ass to downtown Minneapolis because the Timberwolves are in fine form right now and our city is kicking some ass. All right, there we go. Among other things, Mayor Jacob Fry pointing to a giant block party in the works for Friday night, game two, right here outside Glick's Bar and Restaurant. Local business owners eating up all the buzz. And, but for the success of the Timberwolf to translate and affect all other areas is just, that's how amazing that is. And Matthew Williams and his son can't wait to take it all in. Honestly, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, so we wanted to make sure we came out, supported the city, supported the, the team. In Minneapolis, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.